you guys. Time for your headliner comic. You guys ready? You guys ready to make some noise? We're gonna bring it home? Yes. This woman, she has done all sorts of things, performed at clubs all over the city. She has been on The Sopranos, she's been on The View, she's been on Saturday Night Live. Give up for Ellen Orchid! I love it. You know why? You cannot fail. It's clean, it's dry. Victory lap! <laughs> the older I get, the more I'm drawn to things where I cannot fail. Like I go to the gym, I take Tai Chi for seniors. I'm acing this thing, I'm getting cocky. I'll tell you, I used to want to be famous, now I just want to stay hydrated. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a mom. Do we have any parents in the audience? Yeah. Oh, okay. Good for you. Give yourself a round of applause. That is the hardest job in the world. Really, the hours are terrible. <laughs> the rest of you, what do you do for aggravation? <laughs> I have a 17-year-old daughter and a 15-year-old son. Thank you, thank you. These kids want everything. Food, clothing, shelter. <laughs> Toys require batteries, as do mine. <laughs> you can relate, right? Every night we're up doing homework. They get so much homework, it's ridiculous. And I have to be like the policeman, right? I go, I don't see you studying. And my son says, I don't see you cleaning. <laughs> he does have a point, yes. And it's midnight and my son goes, Mom, what's the Louisiana purchase? Is that? I'm exhausted. I don't know. Put it down that it's when Brad Pitt bought a house in New Orleans. <laughs> Close enough. Yeah. It's ridiculous, really. Although I am doing much better in algebra this time around. <laughs> Next week is the science fair. We're doing what wine helps mom pass out faster. <laughs> <laughs> I really enjoyed the research on this project. We may need an extension because I'm still on the 2010 lines. Yeah. You know, um, we're going to send the kids to Kaplan's for tutoring. Anyone know Kaplan's? This school that's all over the world now for SAT prep? You have? Yeah. I am so old. I have to admit this. I am so old that when I went to Kaplan's, my teacher was. Stanley Kaplan. <laughs> Pretty amazing, right? That's like studying Hebrew with Moses. <laughs> yeah. You know who I hate? I hate bigots, racists, and anti-Semites. I hate them. I hate them. I think they should all be rounded up, put on a train, and shipped somewhere. <laughs> so, what else is new? Um, I work in a mental health clinic. Anyone here in therapy? <laughs> Anyone in therapy but ashamed to admit it? Anyone hearing voices? So loud, you don't know what I just said. I do very well at this job because I have had every condition that the people come in with. Anxiety, had it. Depression, had it. Hearing voices? Hell yeah. Had it. <laughs> OCD, had it, had it, had it, had it, had it, had it, had it. <laughs> I go crazy when these patients come in and say things like, Doc, you know, I tried to kill myself five times. I want to say, really? You call that trying? <laughs> what, are you can't find a tall building in town? <laughs> there are buses that'll ro roll right over you. Give it a shot. Go to your medicine chest. There's got to be some old pill bottles there. Don't you have a bathtub and a toaster? <laughs> you call that trying? I don't buy it. <laughs> they have a lot of really cool medications that help people these days. But what they need, they need some pill that'll give you self-esteem. I think they should call it Estima. You take this stuff and one day you wake up and it's like... Where did I get these crappy clothes? <laughs> Cheap rug. I'm married to you? I could do so 
much better. <laughs> Absolutely. So, you know, my son has to take Latin in school. In, he's in high school in Brooklyn. It's ridiculous. What a gigantic waste of some time it is. <laughs> really, what is he going to do? Work for Julius Caesar? <laughs> ridiculous, huh? I'm dating now. Uh, that's always a pleasure. Uh, I enter this guy's personal and he says to me, so Ellen, what do you look like? Are you a 10? A 10. I said, look, I'm a mom. I'm exhausted. I might be a five two days in a row. <laughs> How about I'm a seven and I'll owe you three? I could guarantee you 10 days of ones. <laughs> a lot of pressure. A lot of pressure, my friends. Anyway, you've been a wonderful audience. Thank you very much. Everybody.